So Jesus is not merely a transactional means to an end. That is not worthy of the glory of Jesus Christ. I heard two Christians on opposite sides of this once saved, always saved debate, and they both reason apart from the mind of Christ. Neither understood salvation. It's what Karl Barth calls the Latin heresy or the gospel of external relations. Jesus is not the person that you have life in. He's the one that just gets you to the father. One side says that basically Jesus gives us a clean slate and a second chance to be good in order to keep the law and earn our way into God's good graces. We still have to prove our way into his acceptance. The other side said, well, if you don't believe once saved, always saved, then you're not saved as if we're saved by a doctrine and not a person as if Jesus is just a debt payment so that the father has to accept me. No, Jesus has brought us internally to enjoy the eternal life of God, the love of sonship with his father in the communion of the spirit as members of his own body. Now that he has joined himself to us in an inseparable union.